Welcome back. So now we have even more snow on the ground. It's coming down quite hard right now. So I thought I'd give FSD another shot. In my first drive, it did remarkably well, but we have even harsher conditions now with the snow coverage. Let's see if we get any disengagements on this drive. To start off with, I'm gonna be leaving this community center here and I'm gonna be turning right. FSD already has me signaling to go right. Uh, if you look on my display there, you can see no lane dividers there because the snow's completely covering up the lanes. I should be further right, um, but FSD can't see those lanes there. So it has me sort of in the middle there. So again, that's uh, one of the things that's uh, gonna be a problem there when you can't see the lanes there. Uh, we did turn right, it was a nice right turn there. So it's doing a good job with that. I'm monitoring the speed. Again, I'm being very cautious here because these are very, very slick conditions and these can be treacherous. Uh, I need to make sure there's enough distance between me and the vehicles in front. Uh, take a look right now though. You see how FSD is moving me a little bit over there to the left? That's good. It's actually probably the middle of uh, this lane right now. It's taking me out of the right turn lane. So that, it did a good job there. And again, it didn't see the lanes uh, because of the snow coverage, but you know, it was a good move there. All right, check out the acceleration. Has me going pretty fast actually through this intersection considering the conditions here. We're gonna be bending a little bit to the left there. I'm a bit nervous because we got some vehicles there. I'm always cautious when I'm doing turns in snowy conditions. And I'm sure people who live in Northern climates can appreciate uh, that caution and concern. That's a good, nice gradual stop there. The stop sign, so did a good job with that. Let's look at the acceleration. Again, you know, it's pretty pronounced there considering the speed limit on this road and the conditions. So again, I've got my hand ready to go by the wheel. Oh, there we go. There's our first disengagement there. And uh, if you look at the message, it's uh, because it said it had had problems uh, with the front camera. So I'm gonna re-engage it right now. Everything seems clear. It did re-engage, so let's keep going. Let's see if this happens more times on this drive. Again, when I had my drive yesterday in the snow, it was a little bit lighter than this, but uh, I didn't really have that issue popping up at all. All right, FSD, FSD has me comfortably going on top of those uh, lanes that have already been uh, plowed out by other vehicles. So that's good so far. Again, it's a single lane right here, uh, but we do have oncoming traffic. So I just wanna make sure it's not hugging near the middle there. All right, good stop. All right, it's doing a good job with that. I'm gonna have to kick in the windshield. Sometimes it's just not picking up the snow sometimes. Oh, there we go, there's another disengagement. Oh, and I'm trying to re-engage. It's not letting me re-engage right now. I don't know if it's because of the camera. I'm gonna keep trying to re-engage there. Sometimes what I find is uh, you gotta wait a while before you can re-engage. I'm gonna try one more time here. No, it's not working. Okay, let's just give it a second here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn right here. Uh, FSD was supposed to turn me right here, but it couldn't. All right, let's see if I can re-engage again. Nope, still no go. So again, this is sort of like hit and miss now. And if it's because uh, of those front cameras and the precipitation, and then I think that's a bit of an issue because again, a lot of us want to drive FSD. I don't know if we can really, oh, look at this person here. See this person here, she's walking on the road. There's no reason to walk on the road. It's not that much snow on the sidewalks. Jeez, there's no way FSD was going to re-engage there. But uh, just like I was saying, you know, if you want to drive FSD in the winter time, it's going to have to be able to manage snowy conditions there. Okay, we're going to be going up here to a very busy road. Yep, still not turning on there. Okay, I'm going to turn left here. Let's get onto this road here. I know this. I don't know if the roads are plowed more, but there's more. Uh, there's more cars driving there, so we might be able to see the lanes a little bit better. All right, I will just slip on here. Turn left. Okay, let me try. Let me see if I can activate it again. See if that's going to do anything. I'm going to first get into the right side. Nope, still not working there. Let's just take a look at that error message that we're seeing there. Now take a look, right? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure there. Yeah, it's saying it's because there's poor visibility there for that front camera. So that's that camera that's there on the windshield. Uh, sometimes the windshields can get a little bit smeared uh, when you've got this type of precipitation as well. And unless you have a brand new windshield wiper, unless the windshield is very wet, and just look, I just said that and it re-engaged right now. But just to add to that comment, uh, the windshield can get a little bit dirty there uh, in these types of conditions. And if FSD is going to trip up every time that happens, uh, that's going to be a huge issue for these winter months. 
Having said that, it's kicked in right now. And I'm taking a look to see if it's able to see those lanes. You can see, you can kind of see the lanes there. Again, this is a busier street, so uh, it's a little bit easier to see uh, the, the left lane, the right lane, and a center line as well. It's not perfect, but it's enough for FSD to kick in, just as long as those um, cameras can see it. Oh, look at that, nice signaling. Good, going into the right lane, good braking. Now this is very slick here, uh, good. You see the speed there, very smooth, very good job there in the snow. I've got snow tires on, so that helps quite a bit. But uh, yeah, look, we see have a, we have a winding road here. I'm very nervous about driving on winding roads. You see we've got oncoming traffic here. Sometimes you're going around a bend and you're going too fast. Oh, there you go, it disengaged again. Oof. Yeah, I mean, there you go. Uh, again, I didn't have this issue last night. There was precipitation last night, but it's, uh, it's a bit heavier today. And again, we're getting repeated issues with the front camera. So there you go. I think that's all you need to know about how reliable FSD is in winter type conditions here. Um, I'm gonna keep trying it though and see if it, I, I can reactivate it on this drive. Yep, and there you go, just like that it reactivates, but it's a uh, hit and miss. I'd be curious, uh, for all of you folks who've been driving in the snow, and we, we just got snow for the first time this week, but I know snow's been hitting some of the other areas in, in the northern U.S. and Canada uh, for the last few weeks. If you've um, had any issues, uh, good or bad, with FSD or trying to use FSD in the snow, has it been as hit and miss for you as well? Well, right now it's hitting. Let's see what it does with the stop sign. Good stop there. All right, it's doing the bend very well. I have been generally very impressed with how the, the Model Y has been uh, driving in these snowy conditions. It does a great job, obviously, it's all wheel drive. And again, you, you, it's a must to have snow tires, at least where I live, just for conditions like this. You just have so much more confidence. We're gonna be turning right here at the next intersection. All right, speed's not too bad. This road is 40, it was going around 47 there. Considering the conditions, I'd probably be going a little bit slower. Okay, turning right here, we've got oncoming traffic and uh, there you go. So FSD was cautious there. It let that individual make their turn there as the light was turning red. So very good with that, but it's still aggressive enough to get me ahead of that oncoming traffic coming from the left. So that was good. It's got me immediately into the left lane, which again is fantastic, because as you can see up ahead, I'm gonna be turning left onto that next side street. Now again, we have, we're, this is a pretty fast road here, although it's driving me at a, a reasonable speed here, 42. Oh, look, I had to disengage a little bit there. All right, let me kick it in again. All right, it's so re-engaged. Let's see how it pulls me into this middle lane. Now this middle lane is not well plowed. You can see it can be very slippery. We've got some oncoming vehicles here, so I'm a little bit nervous about FSD maybe slipping and getting stuck here on this left turn. Let's see how it moves after this car comes by. we got a couple more vehicles here. All right, let's see how well it accelerates because we got some other cars coming fast. Look at that, oof. Pretty aggressive. Yeah, look at the wheel there. It's getting through the snow. Good acceleration. All right, so there you go. FSD struggled with staying active due to multiple front camera issues. At first I thought maybe the issue was that FSD couldn't see the lane markings in the road because of all the snow coverage and maybe it was disengaging because of that because they didn't think it was safe. But really based on the messages that were displayed on the screen and the description that was provided, it was because of the poor visibility for the front camera there. And that's what you get with the camera based system for now. Unless they can alter their AI to account for this or just improve the front cameras and processing power. I don't think FSD is a really good option for hardware three cars when it comes to snowing. I'm using it to test it out, but unless they fix that, I wouldn't really dare use that for normal driving in the snow. Let me know your thoughts on that. This is something that definitely needs to be fixed if they plan on offering autonomous cars that don't reside outside of southern climates the ability to drive full FSD. Maybe Elon should move up north.